SRE-DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, Professor Mohamed Chal with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, solar steel uh, desalination model. What is the main concept? Uh, how can we run our model? Solar steel is uh, a simple method in order to uh, desalinate water. Um, solar steel simply distillates uh, water using heat of the sun in order to evaporate water so that it may be cooled and collected, thereby uh, purifying it. They are used in uh, the areas where drinking water is unavailable, so uh, that clean water is obtained from dirty water, brackish water, or uh, from plants by exposing them uh, to sunlight. As you can see here, the concept is simple. Uh, uh, solar addition rays penetrating uh, uh, the glass cover. It's a, it's a simple box. This box is covered with a glass cover in order to, for, to permit uh, solar rays uh, for penetrating uh, um, uh, the glass cover. Uh, water is evaporated from, uh, from the basin and to be condensated on uh, the glass cover uh, from uh, the inside uh, surface. And we can collect uh, uh, distilled water. Uh, the concept is simple. Uh, we have many configurations such as spherical, uh, semi-cylindrical, such as this one, or uh, cylindrical, and we have double roof uh, uh, type, we have uh, a single roof type, and, and so on. It has many configurations, but uh, the concept is, is considered the same. As you can see here, we have four basic elements for, for such configuration. Incoming water radiation, uh, water vapor production or, uh, inside the, the, the still, uh, condensation uh, uh, on uh, the, the glass cover, uh, the collection, just to, to be collected, uh, and so on. For energy stream, as we can see, we have solar radiation uh, inlet, uh, and we have absorption energy to the basin, and we have uh, uh, convection between the water side and the insulation. And we have uh, some losses from the glass cover, radiation losses and convection losses. And we have uh, energy uh, trapped inside the solar cell, such as radiation energy from water side to the glass and convection between uh, water side to the glass cover and the evaporation energy. We are going to discover, it's a design model, we are going to discover uh, many, many important uh, parameters such as uh, productivity kilogram per meter square per day, solar steel area, glass cover, uh, energy to the environment, insulation thickness, glass cover tilt angle, uh, basin depth in centimeter, and solar addition model, and cost, uh, uh, cost analysis. Okay, open your MATLAB and go to your destination folder. Okay and uh, double clicking okay your model should be appear like this we have a solar radiation model we have already a solar radiation model here as you can see and we have a solar steel model let's go for first of all we have to assign some inputs solar radiation model you can choose your location uh julian day uh, summer or winter uh, suppose i'm going for uh, winter uh, I am choosing, uh, uh, for example, Egypt. Can choose. Uh, I am going for uh, bird model. Okay. We already demonstrated this before. It's uh, just uh, okay. For solar addition, for solar steel, we, you you can assign some input, some inputs. Uh, solar steel uh, productivity. I'm going for, suppose I'm going for one meat, one kilogram per day. And this is ambient temperature, uh, basin temperature. Uh, suppose it's uh, 55 degrees uh, or 55 degrees Celsius. Average wind speed, suppose it's uh, 
uh, one meter uh, per second. This is area between uh, basin area and grass cover. Uh, operating hours, suppose I'm going for seven hour. Some cost of uh, prompt interest is 15%. I'll keep this. Plant lifetime is 10 years. Present capital cost, suppose it's uh, 500 US dollar. Okay, let's go for um, for our model and see uh, what is going on. Solar radiation model. Let's hit run. Okay, we already choose. We can discover some uh, solar radiation angles. Uh, this angles, assumed angle, declination angle, hour time, and so on. You can discover uh, equation of time, solar time hour, and so on. For solar radiation, uh, you can discover daily solar radiation because you permit the square hour by hour. Hourly received global radiation. This is hourly and this is monthly. This is hour by hour. Okay. Uh, for build model, this is an in instant solar radiation, as you can see here. Okay. This is uh, solar radiation hour by hour and this is uh, hourly total uh, radiation kilowatt hour per meter square okay for solar cell model uh, let's see uh, for one uh, kilogram per day this is our efficiency in winter uh, around 39 the solar steel area and this is grass cover area the same ratio uh, this is brine depth is about 16 centimeters tilted angle cover tilted angle of the cover it's uh, seven degrees insulation thickness and this is productivity uh, per kilogram per meter square per day uh, productivity with plug uh, if we added plug dies so we you can we can produce this amount we can produce this amount this glass cover temperature is around 37. Uh, evaporation, this is evaporation energy in kilowatt. Uh, this is radiation between uh, water side and glass cover. Radiation between glass cover and the ambient. Uh, and this is heat transfer coefficient, convection heat transfer coefficient. Okay, what per meter square degrees is this? For cost analysis, we can. This is capital uh, recovery factor, and this is fixed annual costs, uh, thinking fund factor, uh, this is annual average value, annual maintenance cost and operating costs, and uh, this is annual total costs, and this is cost per liter. Uh, this is our cost per liter. Okay, uh, so, uh, the, the model is simple. This is uh, mean solar radiation. This is mean solar radiation, mega joule per meter square. This is a very important parameter. Okay. We, we already uh, embedded this parameter from a solar radiation model. If we, if we go here, uh, yes. Yes. This is our up output. Uh, we use this output for, uh, for solar radiation, for solar state, in order to decide uh, some uh, design. Uh, parameters. Suppose I'm going for uh, 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 dynamic modeling. Therefore, I have to assign some inputs. I'm going for dynamic modeling. Let's see here. Okay, let's hit run and change some inputs. Suppose I'm going to change the productivity, increasing the productivity, uh, one meter cube per day, one, one and a half, 2,000 kilogram, 2.5 meter cube per day. You can, we can change the productivity and see this effect on a still area. Suppose we have a plant with, uh, with 10,000 kilogram per day. Let's see. And we can uh, change uh, some inputs. Suppose I'm going to change uh, water temperature, increasing up to 60 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
let's just stop and see our effect okay um, let's see uh, the effect of increasing the productivity on some uh, some parameters uh, this cost parameter remaining constant okay um, Okay, this is productivity. Okay, so productivity per kilogram per day. This is pro our productivity kilogram per day. This is uh, efficiency. Solar is still, this solar is still area increasing because we already increased, we already increasing uh, the productivity. Uh, this energy, um, energy from water side to uh, this radiation energy. Radiation. And this is a heat transfer coefficient changing. Okay, let's go here. Glass cover. This glass cover area. Okay, the same ratio for this brine dips. Okay, not changing. Cover tilted angle. No changing. Because uh, we, we didn't change the solar radiation. Uh, let's go for uh, insulation thickness. Yes, productivity kilogram per meter square. Okay, energy and so on. Suppose we are going for uh, to change. Let's go here. Let's see this was I'm moving. Uh, the mean okay i i i my intention is to use this uh, output uh yes this is daily so this a megajoule i will use one matrix uh so i will get my result as a matrix as you can see not at the mean value just my results will be at the matrix let's say run Okay, let's check. Let's check our outputs. This is uh, the glass area. Yes. Okay, area of solar still. Okay. Uh, let's see, this is the uh, efficiency of solar still. The solar still efficiency increasing and decreasing again at the end of the day uh, so we can uh, draw some this daily uh, uh, average with um, efficiency of solar still let's see yes some uh, this uh, evaporation energy this energy evaporation remains constant here is radiation uh, okay we can this is our this is glass temperature t glass let's see t glass temperature okay okay so you have many parameters so this is the radiation uh, this is the radiation uh, from uh, water side to uh, the glass cover and this is the radiation from the glass cover to the ambient. Okay. You have many, many parameters to, to address. Let's go and see productivity. Um, I think this one. Kilogram per, per meter square per day. As you can see here. This is our productivity based on uh, uh, the effect of solar radiation uh, around the day. Uh, so, uh, as you can see here, we have many parameters to uh, to discover and to uh, this is efficiency of solar still and so on. Okay. Okay, finally, uh, it's easy to extract some uh, output uh, data. And uh, we are, we are uh, glad to say that we have design model for solar uh, still distillation. 
Uh, there is no need for uh, complicated calculations and uh, heat transfer, more of heat transfer coefficients and a complicated uh, differential equation. Uh, just it's a simple method in order to calculate a design for you can cal calculate depths of so still you can calculate uh, about the, the depths we can uh, discover the depth effect. If this is the depth of solar still increasing and decreasing again against the solar radiation. As you can see, with, with respect to the time, this is a time. Okay, this is our current time. As you can see here, this is uh, we can draw current time with uh, uh, with, with respect to the depths. Okay, and here. Okay, this is our time against. Uh, we can draw uh, some figures. Uh, yes, this productivity uh, with respect to the the depths. Uh, let's see. Okay, this come some kind of this. We can discover uh, many many parameters. Don't forget to download uh, our uh, power cycles with the virtual smoothies, especially uh, uh, geothermal power. Uh, uh, we added also a uh, concentrated solar gas engine, uh, proton and sterling, uh, in order to power on uh, the bombing systems. Finally, uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.